Hi, welcome there to the another pen tool exercise. This one we're going to draw around this Aboriginal cat mask type thing here, uh, just so we can get an application for this. So we're going to draw around this path um, following the little template that's been created, and then we're going to create a selection out of it, and maybe let's do one or two effects as well. So the first things first, make sure you've got the pen tool selected over here. Then we're going to zoom in. Okay, make sure you zoom in so it's nice and close. If you need to pan around, remember you hold the space bar down on the keyboard and you can move the uh, uh, screen around. So the first thing is, the anchor points are blue, the control panels that you're going to drag to are pink. So if you click and hold your mouse button down on the blue anchor point, drag up to this control handle here. It's good, that's your first point. We're going to do B to the control handle here. That's good. Now remember to turn this into a corner point, we're going to hold the Alt key down on the keyboard and click once on the anchor point. Now this becomes a corner point. So let's just pan upwards here, so we can see point C. Which we're going to drag down here like so. And now it's basically a case of moving around the cat mask. So let me just, there we go, point down to point D. There we go. Across to point E. There we go up to point F. Don't worry if it's not exact, but you can get the rough idea. And up to G. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. There you go. So after point G, this needs to be a corner point for the tip of this uh, cat's ear. So you hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, click once, so it turns the next part of the line into a corner point, ready to go to point A, uh, H rather. So go there to point H, drag down. That's good, excellent. So don't let go of the mouse. Hold down the Alt key and go up to the yellow point here to tell the next line is going to have a tiny little curve you can hear up to that yellow point. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard. That's great. I'm going to go over to this point. This is going to be a corner point that's different. So hold down the Alt key on the keyboard again, click and drag, and then you can see that little point. Uh, you want to really drag to that yellow bit there, just give it a slight curve. Brilliant. Our cart path is closed. Just zoom back a, a, a tad. That's it. Okay. I'm just going to pan this into the middle. Great. So if you look onto the right hand side of your screen, you've got a work path here. Don't pay attention to the first one. That's one just in case it all went wrong and you want to work up this part of the exercise. There's the work path uh, here. So what I'm going to do is just double click on the work path. The save path box comes up. I'm going to call this one. Um, cat face. There you go, and then click on OK. So notice the work path here is called cat face. Once your work, work path is uh, selected, what can you do with it? Well, if you look down, make sure it's highlighted here. If you look down here, you've got various other buttons that will let you to do things. So you can fill path, fill the stroke, and this is an interesting one, fill a selection. So we're going to load the path as a selection. So if you click on that, and look back on your screen here, that smooth path you've drawn has now become a selection. So with the selection tool, armed with that selection tool and that selection there, I'm just going to make sure I'm on the background layer over here. So if you're not already on there, make sure you click on layers and background. And then we can maybe do an effect. So if we go up to say filter, and let's go to stylize, uh, and let's go to solarize and see what happens. And there you go. There's a little solarize effect there. So that's a little bit of what you can do with the path tool. Uh, later we can show, I'll show you how to export paths to Illustrator and do other clever things with the uh, pen tool and the path tool. But any, if you want any more information and for more videos as well, please see www.computertutoring.co.uk. Thanks very much.